Hello, and welcome to a grab and go opportunity presented by me, Christine, the teen librarian at the Jones Creek branch of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Today, we will be making zip line racers. The materials you will need are a piece of cardstock, seven craft sticks, two to three rubber bands, three paper clips, some Q-tips, glue, yarn, tape, a propeller, and scissors. Let's get started. Take your glue and three of your craft sticks and make the craft sticks into a longer stick by putting two on the bottom and one overlapping on top. Then, get two more craft sticks and glue them as verticals on either side of your long stick. Then, take your last two craft sticks and glue them on as angular supports. Note that I left enough room on the end to attach the propeller when the time comes. Right now, it's time to let everything dry. Once your structure is dry and ready for your next steps, you'll want to get your paper clips and your tape. Take two of your paper clips, unbend them, and then rotate one of them so it's at a 90 degree angle between the top and the bottom. That means when you attach this, the top loop is going this way instead of parallel to the bottom. Do that with one more paper clip. Unbend it and then rotate it. Now you want to attach both of these paper clips with the hooks going in the same direction. It won't matter which one. I'm going to attach mine with tape. Now you want your third paper clip and you'll unbend that into a sort of V or boomerang shape and you'll attach that at one of the bases at the bottom. That fits best for me. I'll tape on this side. and on this side. Mm -hmm. 
Your propeller will fit on the other end, but not this way. This way. So that the hook is on the bottom, and you can string your rubber bands from the hook over here to the hook you've made from a paper clip over here. We'll take two rubber bands and tie them together. Slip that through there. Attach at this end and attach at this end. You may think we're ready to go, but we're not quite. Right now, if we did this and put it on our zip line, the propeller would give out, would be so much that the entire model would twist over on itself instead of going. We need to resist that by adding cardstock here to here. I'm just going to measure against my model, and I'll need about that much, which I'll cut with my scissors. And I'm going to attach this with tape. Now, I've left mine very uninspired and plain, but you could do yours in whatever design you wanted to draw or print on your cardstock. You could even cut out the cardstock into a more fanciful shape. Of course, the more you cut away, the less effective it is. It might be interesting to see how far you can go. All right, this is our finished zipline racer. Our next step is to string our zipline. You have a length of yarn. Anchor it to two things you have in the room. Here's my zip line. Here's my zip line racer on the string. See how it bows a little bit? I want to make that a bit tighter so it won't do that. There we go. Now in close up, Here's me winding up the propeller. You want to go until the rubber band twists up against itself? Yes, it's starting now. Just go and go and go and go. You want lots of power in here. You see how this is not just twisted, but twisted twice? That is our goal. Let's hang it back up. Whee! All right. Thank you for your time with me today. I hope you have enjoyed making a zip line racer. Please engage with us on social media and return to the library for more grab-and-go opportunities.